I'm not a fan of thunderstorms. So. Oh, oh, well. While well, you're inside, <laughs> now you're up, you're good. Yeah. Yeah, neither is my dog. 20 minutes before the storm even hit, oh, he was yeah. pacing around the house because oh, he could tell. All right. Well done. It is 6.30ish. We will uh, call the uh, meeting to order, the June 18th. Select the meeting to order. Uh, the first order of business is approval of the June 4th minutes. Yes, that should remain tabled um, because I wasn't here to use Suzanne. So we're going to hold off until she comes back and hope she remembers uh, what they said. Um, you sent us minutes. Yeah, I sent them up early. Oh, yeah, but it, it didn't make it on here. So why don't you look at June 11th? June 11th is on here. Oh, June 4th. No, I don't have it. Oh, June 11th is next week. Yeah, thank you. I really can't read, you know. Um, well, um, okay. I, I have not looked at them, so oh, I, I'd like to take a look at them. So, okay. well, the table vote. All right. Community input. Anything uh, this evening so far? All right. If not, let's stop the play. We will go into department heads. George, come on up. Oh boy. Do you have anything for us? Or you just get a report. I just okay. Give you a heads up. Okay. All right. That's a uh, it's on Friday, I guess. It was a surprise on Friday. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was the last minute change of plans. They take Friday instead. They oh. Went, they weren't going to. Right. But Ed was overseeing everything. I had already had plans. So they did well. They got quite a bit done Friday at Heritage yeah. and good. River Road and one Calder's Act. Today they finished the project. Good. Awesome. So we'll have to. On uh, River Road? They finished? Okay. Uh, we'll join us. What's River Road? Development is done. Everything's yeah. done. So. Awesome. Great. Uh, Heritage, there was another issue on the back corner, but we'll do ourselves. Okay. Uh, it, it one, as you start around the corner where we had dug out, I don't know if you're taking it right down. I didn't go that far down now. Okay, well, there's a section there where the water is running under the road. Oh. And coming out along the culvert of the house that's there, I don't know what that is. Is it right at the, at the very bottom where it right turns around? Right as you start the shot turn. Mm -hmm. There's one house on the left. Oh, okay. Not not down the bottom where it already turns, but before that? Yes. As you make your first turn at heading towards, uh, what's that one, Moses Garden? Mm -hmm. Yeah. On the back. On the yeah, back side. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we took out 200 feet of the rough area and oh. we graded. Okay. And, and that was part of the plan to base that back in. Right, okay. Do that. Well, when they were doing that, you can actually see the machines floating. Yeah. So, uh, What's happening is the water's running under the road because the dishes haven't been done in years. Right. Okay. So what he suggested we do is dig down four feet in the ditch line and run a trench drain in there like it's a piece of perforated pipe. Okay. We'll run that and run it down the road in, in the culvert. Yeah. But so sure. have it open itself up and that'll yep. relieve the pressure that's coming off the hill. Okay. So it's what's happening, the water is there's no water going into the beginning of the culvert and the water's coming out at the other end of the culvert at that driveway, but it's not coming at the culvert itself and running along the culvert. Okay. So we'll put the French drain, it's, it's probably going to be three, four hundred dollars, but okay. it's something we can do ourselves and then we'll put some uh, rip wrap or rock in the ditch so the water okay. just, you know, we have, flows where it should be going instead sure. of the road. Sure. So that's it's very, very wet back there anyway. Yeah, so. and, and it's all coming off, it, it's the bottom of the hill, I guess you'd call it, and everything yeah. just running that way. So yeah, there's a big pond if you go further back. The dishes there. haven't been cleaned, so nothing's running. So it was. Yeah. We're going to take care of doing that stuff and hopefully get that in. Well, we should get that in this fall then we can have, so we don't have to worry about it the next yeah. year right. when we decide what's going to happen with these projects. And they'll come back and repay then? Or is it our, is that done? It's paid. Is, oh, oh, so you, we won't even have to touch what they fix. Oh, okay. okay. What we're going to do is just relieve the pressure okay. that's under the road. Okay. Just, okay. I mean, after they grade it, it roll the heck out of it. It's it's pretty solid right now, but right. as we get any moisture and stuff, and it starts running under there again, it's going to cause the same issues. Right. So, so we want to fix that. Take care of it now. Perfect. Uh, which one? I don't see any other issues other than getting the shoulders done, and we'll be good down there. Okay. Uh, I have. I mean, I'm looking for a PO. He's actually, Chris is actually going to get us a gravel for the shoulders at their price. Okay. okay. So when okay. he gives me the price, I'll get the any over. amount we need, then I'll get the PO for that. Okay. Just take it out of the, okay. Um, so we'll just Perfect. do that. It's going to be quite a difference in the price. So. I'm sure probably they get 
they buy a much larger quantity than we ever would. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they, it was going to be for the project either way, but right, like right. you said, we'll get it to you for the price we're going to Perfect. do it. You said, you guys are doing the work, so it's going to... Oh, that's great. Thank you. So, okay, so I uh, see there's Oak Street on here, grading dirt roads versus clean and catch basin. That was, that was something that came up over proposing. Thought we had a grader, apparently. You wouldn't hear that. Oh, no, okay. We don't, we don't have, have a grader. The only grader we have the is... The state has left one down with the fire station. I saw yeah, that's well. I told it's them not ours. I told them to park it here so they can... No, no, out of the way no, so no. They Fair enough. Yeah, no. But we don't have it. No. So we and, uh, take and, that off the list. And, they, and they, you know, swap work to do... Sure, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it makes and complete sense, but we just don't have it, so... I do have the grader I designed, and that's what we use to do our roads. And right. if they have any interest in us helping them do their roads, if they have some roads that are paid in each other right. work, then we could probably work something out that way to say, you know, say, right, work, right, right, right. work mutually or whatever. Right, right, right. But then it, that's, that's, a, that's the that's only great, that, and, and whether that's what they heard that we had, I, you know, I don't have a problem. But Suzanne mentioned since Suzanne just open. Had, I, I, I have no idea what that was. Uh, reclamation cost, potential, which one we've already covered that, right? Or is that something different? Is this stuff that we should be just coming off of this? I think this is new. Is that new? Reclamation cost potential at Woods and Run. I haven't seen an email about it. So. Oh, that was, well, they had to reclaim the whole road. But that we, we worked it out. Right. Okay. In that. So this is an old thing. This is an old thing. It's just it's all part of that package. Oh, okay. The reclamation okay. cost is part of that deal. Right, well, let's take that. So that can come off. We'll take this off the list, too. Uh, uh, that, was, that price that we got from them to change the project is all inclusive. Right. So, right. right. What does RSMS stand for? I'm just going to say that. We're starting at the bottom of early working up, but RSMS, assessment, assessment training? training? Does that mean anything it's to you? Road service. Yeah, oh, trends. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, 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 the call your classes? Yes. It's it no, no, it's not. It's when SRPC comes for right. road management. Oh, okay. They are, they're going to tell you what they need to know oh, okay. for what to be with. Right, okay. okay. Oh, okay. assess our roads. So we're going to yeah, table right. that then. We'll table that then, but we're not going to, we're not. And we need to be talking about roads soon. Yeah. Sligo Road is cool. a mess. And that's from the top of the hill to the development. And On the far end? Or not the far end, but the other bit. end? Bear Road, yeah. Okay. So. It's, what's going on with the George? It's, it's breaking up. It's, you know, I don't know if when they fixed it years back when they reclaimed it, it only looks like only one layer on top, but right. the truck traffic didn't help it. Right. So, okay. but, you know, they are going to fix the corner where the trailers come in, broke some of the hot top, they're going to fix that for us. Okay. And I talked to them about just running the layer of hot top across the top of this year, with, if, and he would have done that today, but with the heat and stuff, we, okay. but they're going to be coming back to fix that corner, so he said that we may decide, you know, Run a load of, just run a load of shit over the top. This is because the, the trucks were coming over to do Woods Run, right. and so that's why they're going to help us with that. Okay. Well, they, they, he said, you know, if they come in to do it, he said, you know, just be as cost of materials. The equipment's there, they can just run the, you know, probably a couple thousand dollars, you can run a load or two across the top of that. So, okay. just to stay with it. And it'll probably last, but it's starting to break up bad in places. You know, there's a lot of potholes in that area. Uh, have the extra two thousand dollars somewhere that uh, well that before we longer. before we're even we're before we're even give you dollars right? before we even give you dollars we see what okay you know, what it okay. Is. I mean we just may just pass the holes to ourselves and just okay you know, go with that but okay he's you know they definitely said that this, that is one of the worst roads in town so, and hmm. unfortunately okay uh, the landfill I I know about that I'm gonna be uh, working with you and uh, yeah. some former uh, selectmen too, I think they may have some information on it. So. Did you get really upset? No. And then um, <laughs> it'll be all right. Uh, then uh, the truck, a land for truck sale. Don't worry about that part. But the hauling, we're, are we still? Um, I actually we have a meeting tomorrow morning. Okay. With uh, Triano Trucking. Okay. It's coming down, so I I, that, I, I forget to tell. Uh, Okay. Morning, so. Perfect. Okay. And we had yeah, one other company that come in earlier, but we knew what the pavement this week would be. Uh, I know you've been very busy this week and last. So. so. All right. Is there anything else that you have for us, or? That I can think of. 
right now. You've been very, very busy. Well, I will tell you that um, you've got high praise from people on Heritage Drive. You and Ed, not just my family, but other families that have stopped by and said they're very, uh, very impressed with uh, your level of professionalism and heads, especially considering how many extra trucks had to come up and down that road. So yeah, people were very impressed. So. Yeah. It was just a case of let's do it right. You know, oh, no, we, no, no argument here. But people were very impressed by the way you handled it. You know, and, and I explained that to the people. I, we try to keep them abreast of what's going on the whole right. time and, it, and down in the other development also. And, oh, good. I mean, there's been a lot of praise from everybody. You good. Know, so, good. You should. Uh, anything you have to need, sir? Is there anything else you want? Sorry, I, I don't. Talk right right now, I mean, just, like I said, I just come in tonight just try to give you a heads up of what's happening. You know. Okay. Uh, yeah, right now we're good. Uh, I did get to email, I just haven't answered it yet, so okay. I'm not even ready for that yet. So. Well, it's it's a little ways, I'm just giving you some, yeah. some advance notice. All right. Okay. All righty. Thank you. Okay, good night. Chief, good night. you're up. Hello. 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 A few items to submit. All right. All the gardeners want some rain, I think. So. Yeah, we're going to get some. Did that turn off all the cameras? Wanted you have the power surge? Oh. I don't want to. This one's really good. I don't want to be the, the person that stifles the. Uh, Mine's still blinking. No. Okay. All right. First thing I want to see it. First thing I want to submit is kind of an update you on the movement of. We took everything off of Engine 3, we yep. put it all in Engine 1. I finally got the invoice from the gentleman that was doing the work. I'm going to submit the invoice now and only attach a note to it because he has this one less item he has to finish. Okay. So I at least want to get the invoice in so okay. I can take care of that. And the note just says Caroline Holden until I get the job done. Okay. But I'm going to send him that and say, should you finish it? You get paid. So we'll kind of right. dangle the carrot a little bit for him. Uh, yeah. So um, it's uh, purchase order 1430. And it's to Adam Schaff and his name of his company is Serv, S-E-R-V, which is Emergency Lighting and Service. And to the work that he's done, it's been ongoing for like three or four months now. Basically, you know the system, we took everything off of three, put it on one, and some other upgrades that he did. So it's a total of $1,103.15. It'll come out of the vehicle repair line item, and we still have over $4,000 left in that line. Okay, so this can't, there's no money left on the actual truck itself. Purchase, I move purchase order 1430 for Adam, how do you say that? Shoff. Shoff? You know how it is. All right, from lighting upgrade for E3 to E1 for 1103 Okay. This is an ongoing project. This is not, nothing new to any of us. So it shouldn't be new to anyone, so. Yeah, I'm just hoping it's finally at the end of the road. Yeah, so any other questions yeah. or comments on purchase order 1430? And all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. She's out of time. She'll be back. Uh, End of the month. End of the month. Okay. I wonder if you can spell Can I have the S? I'm so, oh, keep the reference there. With that note, uh, here's the note, and there's the invoice. We'll stick it all with There's another one, yeah, and then I have one more coming. So all that can go with that pile. Okay, yeah. okay. Or, or give that, give that to, to oh. Denise. So she'll put it Here's a clip for you. I'm going to submit this last one. Oh, oh. Back, 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 no, I'm done, done. Oh, okay. All right. that's going in, and I have yep. one more. Oh, okay. All right. And this is uh, 1431, it's the Whitmer Public Station, which is a fire store. And on engine two, it has a 30 gallon foam tank. It has yep. an in house foam system on board the truck. And we had 10 gallons sitting in the station. We we're researching what we had to be able to combine what we need to purchase to make sure there wasn't going to be any problems with the two. Mm -hmm. We finally came up with the proper. Uh, Ingredients that we want to order. So we're going to um, submit purchase order 1431 for $550, which is five five gallon pails of universal foam. 
good time to have to have the hearing on a proposal because it's summertime. Not a lot, I mean, I, I'll be blunt. I don't think a lot of people are going to show up anyways to the public yeah, the hearing. <laughs> on the stickers? But, yeah. You have to have a public hearing? Yeah, for that? because we're changing the, uh, the, the transfer station order. There's, there's very few ordinances that we can change, that we have license to change, absent um, uh, town approval, town wide approval. You shouldn't lump it in with something in the fall because you're not going to get anybody here. I, I don't think so either, but I, but I want to make sure that we have it. Um, we'll, we'll keep it on then so we don't decide it. We want I want a policy in place before they start selling them. Before January. Yeah, yeah, January. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll put. I'll have her. I'll, Caroline change the. Uh, can you have a public hearing before the board meeting? I mean, does it have to... Well, the board would want to discuss a, a draft and then send it to a public hearing. Can it be like the same that as a board meeting instead of... Oh, yeah, like, it would oh, be. Oh, oh, oh okay. it would be. We, typically okay. what we do... I'm sorry, I'll show you. It was after this yeah. one. Stuff. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, typically we come in like at 6. Oh, okay. And it's... Really, we probably should come in at 6.15, but most of the time they last about five minutes at mm -hmm. that. Um, sometimes, though, I mean... It's, We've had some issues that have come up that have been more contentious than others, and more people show up. But mm -hmm. for the most part, maybe uh, two, at least two people, sometimes three or four, but uh, uh, not typically more than that. But other than that, so I'll ask Caroline just to put a note next to it, um, a public hearing for early fall, just mm -hmm. so we don't lose sight of it, because it is important. Uh, general services agreement, didn't we... Um, did we not vote on that last week? I, I apologize, I was a little out of it last week, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No? You didn't. Is it in is it in the folder? We should have Section 12 under, uh, oh, that's workers' call. It's in there somewhere, though. Caroline said there was one question about, um, oh, here it is. Article 14, indemnification and limitation of liability. Um, just have to make sure that it jives with our, um, our policy um, for our liability insurance. So, until I hear back, Caroline is going to hear from her. So she wasn't in today, so um, I'll make a note. Does section. Okay. Does section. Did I just say 14? Mm hmm. Comply. Liability. Insurance. As soon as I find out, we can act on it next week. In the folder, it says so. Okay. Keep that in there for her. Unless you have anything to add to that, we'll move on. There's a pre application letter for stormwater assistance. Is that in there somewhere? It wasn't in there last week, but we would have. Uh, no, I just have the annual post closure report here. Yeah. Maybe the Caroline just didn't take it off of the uh, take it off the agenda. So. Mm -hmm. She said that because unless you added things to the agenda, okay. she'd be printing the last. The week. last week's okay. So then we won't worry about that. We'll ask her to take it off. Then. Dumpsters for buildings. I believe that the. Um, Letters we're going to go out via assessing. I haven't seen any action on that yet. I have noticed that there's at least one building for sale on um, South Street that would qualify as requiring a dumpster. That doesn't have one currently. But um, other than that, I haven't heard any action, anything on it more than that. Have you, mm -hmm. okay. but, um, 
I'd like to keep that on, but we'll table it. Uh, recreation. Last I heard, you were moving, going into a uh, a work session that I was hobbling out and painting. So. Yeah. How did that go? Um, okay. Yeah. I just put it out there that we had to come in level funded. Mm -hmm. um, so. Or we'd have to cancel the. Or we would have to cancel it. Um, right. They have. Um, they have come in actually with $227 left over for the teen camp. Okay. So, so we that. will continue to go forward with it. Okay. What they are going to do is um, utilize, um, the buses are the most expensive part of yeah. the whole thing. Sure. So on the same trips that they're going to go with Raleigh camp, they're going to utilize the same bus. same bus. So it wouldn't have to be two, they'll just make two trips. Oh. They'll bring the younger kids and st leave staff and then go and get the older kids. And oh, the there other you staff. go. Okay. So it's mostly the pool. Yep. Um, so they're going to utilize the same bus. Because you're renting, the, they're renting the bus for the anyway, whole time so that they're there. So just make oh, two yeah. runs. You they know? don't charge for gas or anything? I don't just, think so. No. I think that's what that $225 oh, wow. well, then, yeah. is for, the staff and the bus. I'm then. not sure. Okay. Yeah, well, so that, um, learn, I guess. and they've had some additional enrollment, so that's good. 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 Um, they've kind of revised um, staffing a little bit based on, because um, team was, um, I think, a little top heavy on the staff, yep. so they did reduce the help of the okay. uh, counselor or yep, whatever sure, you want to yeah. call it. So they'll have a, a director only at this point. How many kids do they have? Um, well, last I knew, it was 10, but okay. I think they're close now to what, and I haven't got a final report yet. We're meeting tomorrow night, Okay. so okay. we will have more information tomorrow night. But they really did buckle down and reduce some of the programming. Okay. A little bit to help us at the budget, right. um, and as, and Camp Raleigh, the numbers are the numbers are getting very close to what they budgeted for, so they should be okay. They're right now they're about two thousand in the hole instead of twelve thousand. Well, so I think they did a lot better in getting sure. where it needs to, be, to okay. be, and that doesn't include any grants if they've been accepted. Oh, okay. All the ones that um, they're not counting the grants because sure. they haven't been sure. fully. Sure, sure. Um, been given the approval on the grant. Yeah. So there's a possibility that they're going, it might be a grand, maybe a little bit okay. over, somewhere in that vicinity. Okay. But I think they've worked really, really hard to make sure okay. that this okay. happens. And they're going from 10, 10, 000, plus over 10,000 in the hole down to two right now. Okay. So, and they're still working. And there's still some, because I've seen some emails coming across saying, can you still take res you know, um, kids? Okay. Now kids are out of school and parents are going, we're not going to do that. Right. Not, you know, I hadn't really thought about those kind of things. So they are still saying, yep, we'll take more. Yeah. So, yeah. So I think okay. they're doing, I think they're working very hard. And I think that, I think we're probably going to let both of them go forward. But they still could modify some of the um, trips with Raleigh, reduce it down to one a week instead of two and do stuff in-house, and that would save them some more money what if they the, needed what to. What are the two trips that the uh, well, younger they, kids do? What's that? The younger kids do two trips or just one trip? They do two. I believe they do two. They do um, the pool, and then they do state parks. Oh, okay. So The younger kids do the state parks, too? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they talked about reducing it a couple of state park trips if it... If it had to be, they don't want to, but if it had right. to be. Okay. So, I mean, that's something that you can make that decision during the program being in effect. Right. You know. Right, right, right. Um, so I think they they can get it really close, okay. really close. Um, so I'm I'm comfortable that they're. It was a tough com It was a tough meeting. Yeah. It was. Um, <laughs> well, you, it was a tough you, meeting. But uh, you've got to you handle this. So I did. I did, and and you know then they kind of got back to um, civil. Yeah. You know, it just, it, it, they were working hard and they, they, have to really hard, and and they, they didn't want it to come across that way, but we also had to say that we, we, we don't have the money in the budget. Right, that's the problem. That was so. the whole budget, right. the, the whole problem is the budget part of it. So, um, but I, it got it got a lot better at the end. Oh, they, they've created a program out of nothing, really. Yeah. I mean, no, they've recreated done a program out job. of a, a bare bone skeleton yeah. from before. Yeah. So, I mean, they, over you the know, last two years, they've come a long way. So. They have, you know. So the biggest expenses is their staff yeah. and um, their transportation. Yeah. 
So oh, one of the things that they're going to do with um, the teen is um, what they do at the grade school is having um, parents be transporters as long as they have the required insurance and yeah. they're following the same program as the school. Yeah. What, how much liability and all of sure. that. I think it's yeah. 300, 100, or 100, 100, 300, 100 or 300. I don't know what it, whatever the school is. And having the insurance on file here, and um, and if they can't get the, you know, if they can't afford the buses, that's what they're going to do. So, but the, the everyone's going to have to know that it's by parent vehicle, not by bus, yeah. and have to accept that or They'll not. Have to sign off on it. Right, the, right. The parent the but that would not be Raleigh. That would be T. T. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. So, but that's where we stand right now, and I think they've done a real good job trying to, to get where we need it to be. Mm -hmm. so. Cool. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you for that. Yeah. I know it's not easy, but uh, yeah. it's uh, certainly it, it, a worthwhile endeavor. It had to be done. Yeah, it, absolutely. So, all right. So, Class 6 road policy, I've been emailing back and forth with the um, um, code enforcement officer, Mr. Clark, mm -hmm. talking about... Um, Class six road policy. Um, I'm hoping to hear back from Mr. Krebs as well. See if about revisions so, has not been forgotten. Um, the um, SRP is the envisioning for the village. I've kept it on here for Suzanne. Do you want to keep it on, or do you want to just? I want to keep it on okay. because that's that's something that she wants to pursue. So. Okay. I don't know if we have to keep the next one though. It's been yeah. yeah, I don't think so. Why don't we just take it off? If she wants to bring it back, we can. Yeah. Oak Street Boundary. Um, I think you saw what I looked like last week. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday was the first day I've been able to stand up right. So I didn't go walking anywhere in the woods mm -hmm. last week. So I promise it was going to happen. So, uh, it was nice this weekend. I could go this weekend. I can walk again. Mm -hmm. Fire department's here. Hello. How many times does it take to check on? I don't know. Hi. Can we get the key? Is it a key? I don't have a key. We don't have a key anymore. No. They took our keys away when they had to. You can't call them. We have. Yeah. You have. You'll have to. I'm sorry, David. We don't. I'd let you in, but we don't. We, they, they don't. we don't have keys anymore. To which ones? The planning. He's, he's a PD, right? Yeah, we don't, we don't have keys anymore. We used to, and then when they had to put the new doors on, because of the accreditation thing, they did, we're not allowed to. Yeah. I was always weird that I just had a key to water and the things like that. But yeah. Anywho, well, that was a little, uh, not something I was expecting to see. No, the door, yeah. so. Uh, I was going to check on his mother. Yeah, <laughs> right? Make sure you're okay. That was a secondary test, so. All right, the perambulation I'm doing, hopefully this weekend, if it doesn't rain. I promise I am, I am doing it. I hope I will enjoy. Uh, town administration, standing items, uh, board member activities. So you've given us an update on uh, on REC. You have another meeting? I, I have REC tomorrow night, yeah. and I have um, a police station on Wednesday night, and hopefully CIP next Wednesday That's night. That's awesome. So... Getting starting, getting started, and uh, historic committee. Oh, we're conflicting, so we're going to be in the planning room. Oh, we can go in now. What, what, which one are you, CIP? Uh, is it which day? Is it Tuesday or Wednesday? Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday is uh, CIP. Well, well, either one, it doesn't matter. We're pretty we're, we don't have that many either. So either way, but uh, Caroline asked. If I could go oh, in the planning room, and it's like, we can go in there, it doesn't works, matter. Yeah. We're just going to be going through boxes of the uh, things that we're doing. So. Okay, all right. We're looking through. Okay. Years ago, yes, we're doing it. So. so that's all I have going on. Okay. So I can think of that I have going on, besides, you know, communicating and working on uh, some planning things at, um, from the last meeting. Uh, building permits. First one I have, I mean, I'll do my order for it. 2018 053 710 Main Street. That's a 
electrical at uh, $275 fee. Mr. Clark, you want to review? And next is 2018-058, uh, also uh, 710 Main Street. Um, it is also uh, residential electrical work. Uh, that one was the, the commercial part. Um, it's also uh, a $275 fee for electrical. It's for you and okay. for my mother, so okay. I'm not going to act on that one. Do you have the dollar amounts? I can. I can. Years. I can at least tell you that much. Uh, one of them is two. Yeah, two sixty-five. For the deck. Um, yes. Yeah. Okay. And the other one is seventy. Paving. Paving. Okay. Thank you. Yep. And we have, let's see, dear board members, in close, please sign the 2018 PA80 form. That is. Uh, we have provided the data electronically in Excel format to your contact to this, uh, contract assessor. Okay. Uh, if you would like to receive the data directly as well, please feel free to contact me and I will provide this information to you. How oh, is the telecommunications? It's the index of, um, uh, from uh, DRA of uh, how many poles and It just has who owns them. <laughs> Doesn't say how many poles or anything we have, so it must be on the electronic version of it. I'm hoping it shows up. So, but it's just been about, it's been forwarded to us. So it was due by uh, July. What did I say? They forwarded it on to. Um, you want to look at it? It doesn't say. It's just. Yeah, that's fine. Um, that's okay. Board on it. I do this. Okay, I have an invoice for thirty-five dollars for a bound a boundary line dispute with the city of Dover. Uh, file number one two two four zero. Oh, those those are Roberts. those are just that's just the bill. You don't have to. Now, do we agree to pay it? Well, we do, but we don't. Is this your the correspondence? Oh, but that's not. That's just usually in there so we can see it. We, oh. we don't usually even read it. Oh, we don't. Oh, sorry. It's just a legal bill. It's, um, okay. Thirty-five dollars legal bill. So I'm going to say okay to pay. Email. Okay. Unless I got stuck in there because um, I wasn't in this morning. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, because uh, Caroline wasn't going to be in today for me to come in and sign them. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why she's out. Why? Yeah. Um, we have a revised credit card COA. Um, this is the right credit card authorization. Please have Suzanne, Michael, and Denise sign. We're indicated on page oh. one and have Suzanne and Michael sign, which is indicated on page two. Um, this is from the Citizen Governing Bank. Yeah. This is so that the credit card, the purchasing credit card, is that yeah. what that says? Yeah. So Changing the names on it. They finally have gotten that. Okay. So Jody's name off, probably, and they're putting you on. So. Oh, okay. So, do you want to sign them? Yeah. Or do you want to kiss them? Okay. I'll we'll sign them so we can. We'll uh, wait for Stan to come back so we can sign them. You have to sign that one and the next one. Oh, okay.
this is this is to Suzanne, but it's uh, Economic and Labor Market Bureau of New Hampshire Employment Security preparing to update wrongs with the information. Is that what like all the salaries and stuff that they put in the book? Yeah. New Hampshire Community Profiles page on our website to ensure that we have the most current information. Isn't that something that Caroline? Caroline can take has care? usually okay. sent in back, of course. You're vital in maintaining this information. Please to return by June fifteenth, which we missed uh, mm -hmm. um, so just tell Caroline to handle or take a look at it right now and see if it's accurate. Basically, he wants to know about the, you know, the top, the largest employers. Uh, so we have like Janko, Janko Electronics, Fort Worth Greenhouse, oh, Alexander's, Mid Construction, C and J. Uh, they want to know like when the select board office or the town hall is open. Uh, when our zoning ordinance was was first adopted. Whether or not we have a planning board, we do indeed, and whether, whether or not we have a full-time police department. It doesn't look like anything on here has actually changed. We didn't get a new indoor swimming pool or golf course that I'm aware of, so we still have a bowling alley in town. Sign off on it. That nothing changed. So okay. You don't have to have to have her do it. Okay. changes with the Xfinity? Well, they're saying that they're coming up with new, simpler pricing and package options that have been made available to your residents. However, yes. starting on June 6th, they are not going to include a TV box or a remote will no longer be included in the packages, and we will reduce the pricing of the packages accordingly. Really? However, you cannot have cable without a box. You, you can't have... They don't... You, it won't work. It won't work or just through your TV? You plug no. your cable into the back of the TV? No, back then when they got rid of, was it analog? Is that right? Mm -hmm. Analog? So and so now you yeah. have to have digital, and so you have to have yeah. a box. So they're going to they're gonna pay the same thing. It's just kind of misleading. I'm shocked. <laughs> they're such a full word. Of so today most Comcast I'm video packages include a rental box and remote. I'm not a fan. Your so. primary TV and home. In some instances, we found that certain customers have chosen to use their own video devices like Otibo instead of using Comcast equipment. Oh. I don't know any. So I can run, can I run my um, cable through like my Apple TV box? Uh, Maybe. Save the whatever it is. Uh, Maybe. I don't have any of that. Oh, we don't have cable anymore. anymore. We have just internet still. So, yeah. Interesting. He's in charge of the price of the package. So TV box or remote for primary would now be billed separately at $2.68. Current combined price of the rental on the TV, Comcast TV box or remote. So are you talking about going to save two sixty a month? Is that Something like that. I'm not going to worry about it. But. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. It's kind of confusing to me because I know you can't do it without a box. Right, right, right. You get the smaller boxes, but then you can't have like DVRs and uh, all of that. I, 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 yeah, one. Uh, okay, so it's just kind of an FYI public file, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, it's not we do that. Um, New England. Mediation services for the wall of the office of the highway shed hold until mid year budget review for the smiley face. No. So, um, smiley face. This is an estimate for what? I'm sorry, for what? Wall of office at highway shed. Oh, okay. there must have been some problems. There has been an ongoing problem. Okay. With the it's interior a, wall. It could be an exterior wall. I, don't it's know. A, I mean, it's only 1380. Huh? It's only 1380. That's really large. But it's got to be the interior wall. There's some. Yeah, removal of the, oh something's been contaminated. Water damage. Water, yeah. Water. Oh, I remember him. Didn't he have a? Mm -hmm. 
And then they're going to send it, uh, spray it with some anti-bacterial. But it says hold for next budget review. So then we'll hold it. Okay. No, but okay. Um, that's it. That's it. Yep. Fantastic. Any other community? Any other community? I work? just was uh, one clarification. I'm sorry. I no, no, no. the well, we majority it. of the meeting. Um, is the select board in favor of moving ahead with the team camp? What I've seen gives me no reason to not okay. move forward. So, um, but we're meeting tomorrow night, and so I would. I mean, I, we talked about it a little bit. I praise how you guys really looked at it, reduced it as much as you possibly can. You're actually coming in at a positive number, so I, there's no reason why you can't go forward. Uh, the, I just need to know because the director would like to start making phone calls, securing locations for the team program, like um, reservations for their activities. Are okay. You, are you going to come? They're already now? part of this budget, though, right? Yes. Nothing new. Okay. So. Again, we're meeting tomorrow night, so I can confirm that information tomorrow night. And what I've seen so far on Raleigh, I mean, we're still a little bit behind, but my, my understanding is that we still have people calling on a day-to-day -day basis, and I think that and if you, you haven't heard anything on your grants. So, I mean, your grants exceed, even half of your grants exceed what we're going to be short. So I'm comfortable. I'm glad you got your PTO payment that helped. Um, and then, now, my understanding is recreation is one big pot. I know you separate team from Raleigh, yeah. but if they have a credit balance, that can be moved over to Raleigh's to offset that balance, correct? It, summer rec is summer rec. Summer rec is summer rec. Okay. All right. I just wanted, because I know that when you, you split the uh, fundraiser that you had with PTO in half, so, but now you have a credit balance. But that can be applied to, okay, to And sure. we are also trying to do more cost cutting for the team camp. One of the programs offers donations, one of the activities, so I'm pursuing that yeah. to see if I can get it donated, mm -hmm. like, package. Mm -hmm. So we might end up with more savings in that. Right. And um, I found some other savings in Camp Raleigh that we'll talk about tomorrow night. Awesome. But, That's I mean, good. I think the takeaway, though, is that thank you for um, to all of you to for uh, We're really stepping up, and really working, working hard and, and finding places where you could cut and, and make it work. So. Yeah. So um, I saw something from Brittany on the. I didn't have a moment to uh, finish reading, but was it anything? To do? Um, yeah. It, They're concerned about the busing, right? Yes. Um, and that is in limbo for both camps, and hopefully we'll cover it tomorrow night during the meeting is that the team camp is now joining mm -hmm. Camp Raleigh and Camp Raleigh is thinking about reducing the number of field trips. So if we reduce the number of field trips, it will affect both camps. So still so positive. Mm -hmm. positive. It'll be financially positive, but not less, for the program. Less trips per program. Yeah. Okay. All right. But the the ones that we were joining forces with with um, team and Raleigh was. Jenny Thompson for, right? Well, when we reworked the budget, yeah. we switched activity days so okay. that now both field trip days to state parks are Mondays. So team camp would piggyback on Camp Raleigh for four of their field trips, saving us $1,000. However, now that your numbers are higher in Raleigh, you would have to do two buses. Right. That's the problem. Right. Okay. All and right. But if we do two buses, we are over in Camp Raleigh by 10 kids, so it, there would be room on the second bus for team camp, yep. but then it was not budgeted two buses. Right. So it's detrimental on one side and positive and on, on the, the other. other. Right, right. Because it's, what we had talked about with the Jenny Thompson pool was that you could make two trips, take the younger kids, go back and get the older kids, or vice versa, you know, so, and have someone stay there with the yeah. ones that were there. So. That is a win-win because it's only two miles up the road, you right. know. So that shouldn't, even if you have more Raleigh kids, it's okay because you could do two trips as long as you have enough staff to stay with the ones that you drop off. Yeah. So, okay. And so that's something we'll examine tomorrow. Okay. At our meeting. Okay. Very good.
Clearly, you've done a great job trying to, cut, you know, cut where you could and what where you need to do. Just uh, what time are the meetings for the CIP and the space needs? Six thirty. They're both here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other community comments? No. Questions, concerns, anything? If not, we will adjourn the meeting at seven twenty-two. Thank you all. Have a great week. Twenty seconds for the the generator to come on for now and come back on. Yeah. And when it does, it sets the alarm off. No power for going. Mm -hmm. Okay. So without objection, we're going to reopen the select board meeting of uh, uh, June eighteenth. Please, chief, is coming with a few issues that we can take care of. So. Go ahead, uh, I need a set of uh, brakes and rotors for the Cruiser 74. So I can purchase them for City of Dover, number 1405, in the amount of $500. That's the max. They tell me about $300, but I put down five just in case they, get, they find a sway bar or something yeah. else that uh, around with it. The luck we've had with the car lately. Yeah. Motion for purchase order 1405 for the City of Dover for the brakes and ro rotors on. Purchase 74 for $500. Second. Any discussion of purchase order 1405? How long will do you think they think they'll be able to get it done like, tomorrow, the next day? Oh, okay. Yeah. Any other? Mm -hmm. Okay. All those in favor of uh, purchase order 1405 say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. HVAC system is not working downstairs at all, uh, neither unit. So I called Townsend today for an emergency uh, service call. Mm -hmm. uh, they came and looked at one unit, it needs a new motor, and okay. the, the other unit needs a Freon, uh, Freon charge. Okay. Uh, and they estimated about $400. So Town Hall Maintenance, Townsend Energy, uh, personal, personal number 1406, service call in to repair HVAC system, motor, and Freon. Not the day you didn't want to do it. No, we have a different system than he does. Is that is that right? Our AC is different yes, than there, yours. There are five units all together: two upstairs, oh. two downstairs, and then one for the, the addition. Okay. Right, thank you. Purchase order one four zero six. I move it for four hundred dollars for Townsend Energy um, to repair the AJ um, yeah, system yeah. for mo motor and Freon. Second. Any other discussion or questions? If not, I'll call the question. All those in favor of the person number 1406 say aye. Um, aye. Opposed? All right. Too bad if we're opposed because it's already been bad. It was an emergency, wasn't it? Well, they have made it over. Oh, they didn't yeah. make it over yet? Okay. That was they, still. They, they checked it out, but they did not make repair because I wanted to make yeah. sure it was yeah. okay just to change the, um, the motor and whatnot. Yeah, well. Can they do it tomorrow? Uh, they have to go to the parks. But let me know tomorrow. So I'm not going to make you work down there on the heat, so. The amount of cars with the AC is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's all that I have for you folks. That's it, huh? All right, terrific. All right. Thank well, thank you for uh, of course. You got standing by for another minute. I did, yes. Okay, we are good. Okay. Okay. Good luck on Wednesday. Yes, thank you. All right, so is there any other business? None. I don't see anyone else coming in, so we're going to return at 727. Have a good night.